you see that you like? What you see that concerns you? Obviously, you got to take care of the ball. We had three turnovers, four turnovers. The operation was okay. It needs to be better. A little operation. Good plays in. We had uh, two or three late game penalties, which uh, needs to improve. I thought they played hard from the front, from the start to the finish. And I thought some guys stepped up. You know, there's a couple young run running backs played well, really well. Can you leave? Anything else that stood out that we didn't ask about? It was great to hit a few goal like that. You know, the game and win it. And that was huge. And, and like I said, I couldn't have scripted that any better. And, uh, <laughs> kind of did look scripted, to be honest. No, it wasn't. Believe it, believe it or not, it wasn't scripted, but it looked like it. That was good to see him, because he hadn't practiced in the last three or four days since the kicks came. I, mean, I don't know how far that was. 48. 48, 48 yard? Yeah. That was, that was huge. Is it hard to get people to embrace something? It's, it's a, you know, it seems like something that, that who cares about wearing a blue and white, but they, they seem to care. What, we why? talked about winning it. You know, you got to win. It's all about winning. It doesn't matter if it's a Jiggy Blue jersey, if it's a, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Memphis was prepared, you know, trying to fight for adversity. You know, we was down by a lot of points, but, you know, we stayed together as a team. You know, we're always talking about team. Uh, you know, that's our model that we go by. You know, we just kept fighting and, you know, able to pull it out at the end. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of good running backs, a lot of talent, uh, you know, but it just comes from practice, you know, a lot of good competition. We work hard every day in practice, you know, pushing, pushing each other, you know, to do their best. So when we get into game situations, everybody's prepared. You know, I'm proud of the offense because, you know, a lot of times, you know. I don't hear that that often the Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm always proud of the offense, the way they fall back. You know, that shows a lot of courage for them to be down. As far as they were, and we were out in front. You know, I'm just, you know, really proud of those guys and how they fought back. My hats off to them. They did a great job today. Was there was there an idea say coming into early coming into to spring? You know, the defense was, you know, missing a bunch of guys. Maybe in a, maybe in a bit of a rebuilding mode of sorts, and, and, and being able to come out strong and kind of put that in, in the back. Not at all. Um, Coach Hazel made it very clear, you know, this is not a rebuilding unit. We're out here to win. Point blank period. And that's all we can do. We can play as hard as we can every Saturday, and that's what we're going to do. What were you guys doing kind of the first two thirds of the scrimmage where the defense really dominated? You know, it didn't let them get anything through the air. What was working then? Uh, I think our corners played really well. Um, they matched routes fairly well, and uh, our LBs, D, D line got lots of pressure. LBs were covering the routes. Um, you know, we're just playing good, playing fast. We covered this already, but if you don't mind, just the, the slower start for the offense and then finally kind of really getting it together in the end. What was the difference there? Um, really just focus. I mean, I thought we were focused at first, but uh, the defense played a, they did a really good job covering our receivers and bringing the blitzes. I know they've got a lot of blitzes, which mm -hmm. we gotta, we got to start working on our practice a little more picking up. But, um, yeah, I, I definitely uh, attribute that to the defense and how they played and how hard they came out. They, and they did a great job. But then, but then, like that last third of the practice, you guys with the offense really. So, what what adjustment was made there? Um, not not too many adjustments because Coach Rock was up there. We we're trying to get every third of the group sitting out, mm -hmm. and uh, we just try to come together as our first team offense at least. I know, and uh, I talked to him in the huddle a little bit. We just told him we had to, had to focus. We had to finish the, the scrimmage off well because we had two more possessions at that point, and uh, they, they responded really well and uh, did a good job. I mean, everyone did their part. And, where is the offense right now in terms of, you know, are you ahead in one area or uh, more comfortable in, in a few areas specifically? Um, we, I mean, we're, we've got a, almost all the offense in right now. We didn't show everything out there today, obviously, but um, I think there's not certain areas that we're ahead in per se, but we've definitely got a lot of work and we've got a lot of different areas. Um, we, we call it checking the blitzes, and I've got to check protections and stuff a little better, and uh, really get the get the calls to the receivers in the line a little quicker. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna work on that a little more. It um, looks like you guys can run the ball when you want, <clears throat> which is hadn't necessarily been the case around here in the past. Do you feel that? Do you feel like hey, we can just let's just sit here and pound this thing out of here? Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of different different options of running back, and they, they've all. We've all stepped up so far in fall camp, and you know, that's exciting for, for um, our team because once you run the ball well, people start putting people in the box. Defenses do that, and uh, when, you, 
hit him on the outside. So that really that definitely helps a lot mm -hmm. in the running games.